the thing about these workouts, and this happens every marathon prep, as I get nervous, it feels like you're preparing for race day. Obviously for races, you get a little nervous. There's just like some race jitters. I get those same race jitters for these big tempo workouts and the marathon paced workouts as well. You know, you know there's certain splits and paces you have to hit. That, that nervous feeling, that's good. You know, that means you're challenging yourself. It means you're trying something that is uncomfortable. You're nervous or a little intimidated by the effort you're about to put forth and forward. I felt that last night, I felt it this morning when I was waking up. And that allows me to really hone in on the variables that I can control and trust the process, trust my coach, Jeff, trust the workout and just get it done. So let's go get it done. Today is an exciting day. It is a pivotal point in the history and future trajectory of BPN. The endurance expansion. We've been working on this product for a long, long time. And today we are running it on the manufacturing line. We are the manufacturing facility right now. I'm with part of the BPN team and family. This is the Go Gel. This is our endurance fueling gel to be used during your runs, your races, triathlons, on the bike, swimming, cycling, anything endurance related. The Go Gel is something I'm super excited about. It is going to, like I said, shift the trajectory and future of this company and organization and help you guys fuel for your endurance training sessions and competitions. The packaging is beautiful, the product is beautiful, and I'm super excited to launch this and get it into your hands. But today we run it on the line. I think the biggest challenge is when we first formulated, we came up with our dream formula, and the actual formula was in and around 52 grams. 52 grams ended up being in a sachet that was much too large, so we had to downsize to a sachet to accommodate in and around 40 grams, which means we had to go back to the drawing board when it comes to the formulation. Then we went to you know different ingredients that had higher density of carbs, so that's where we were able to get a 41 gram formula with 24 grams of carbs and 100 calories, which is what we were targeting. The primary ingredient is apple juice concentrate, which removes a lot of the water content, but maintains that carbohydrate density. You've got kind of two worlds of like endurance gels. I'd say you have sort of whole food endurance gels, and then I'd say you have more kind of synthetic carbohydrate gels. What we are trying to accomplish is a lot of people have GI distress when it comes to the maltodextrins of the world, but then when you go to a true whole food ingredient gel, you sometimes run into short shelf life issues, or you put things like sweet potato, or maybe rice, or maybe just fruit, and then your fiber content increases. And when you have an increase of fiber content on a run, it usually doesn't make for a good experience. So the goal here was let's, let's see if we can kind of bridge the gap between these whole food ingredient gels and then maybe these synthetic gels and that's where we kind of landed with kind of this apple cinnamon go gel which is that that apple juice concentrate but also has that brown rice syrup but all of them are a lot easier to, to digest and that ladies and gentlemen is the go gel here we go today's a pretty big workout it's about 14 miles of total volume uh, i re-looked at the workout last night that jeff sent over i input it into my garmin so my garmin can just walk me through the workout it's a two mile warm-up and then six miles at a 6.15 minute per mile pace, an 800 meter jog, and then three times the following. One mile at a 6.05 minute per mile pace, two minute jog, and then a two mile cool down. I'll go over my nutrition strategy for today. About an hour ago, I had two scoops of G1M Sport, and I had a piece of sourdough toast from Easy Tiger. It's a local bakery here in Austin, and some honey. 
So I have about 90 grams of carbs in me right now, and then 700 milligrams of sodium. I'll sip on this bottle throughout the workout. I have two scoops of electrolytes in here, so I have 1,000 milligrams of sodium in this bottle. And then at mile four and mile nine, I will have a go gel, which is an additional 24 grams of carbs. So part of this right now is is fueling my workouts and promoting recovery, but it's also practicing nutrition so that when we get the race day, I have everything dialed in, my gut, my stomach, my body knows how to handle the carbs, the sugar that I'm providing it, the electrolytes that I'm providing it. So it's getting this whole thing dialed in and locked in to be ready for race day. But the gels are gonna be so convenient and clutch and game changing for this marathon prep and the marathon specifically at CIM. Just route something special. Because I know when I'm here, the intent is different. The mindset is different. This is war right here. Can't stop addicted to the shindig. Chop top, it says I'm gonna win big. Choose not to like of imitation. Just get close into the reservation. Okay, so six mile segment is done. We're now in a half mile, just recovery jog. Got a quarter mile left. I'm gonna hit one more gel for this workout. Another 24 grams of fast acting carbohydrates to fuel me for these one mile splits. That's why I'm So that's the meat and potatoes of it. Just got some cool down miles now. It's a good workout. Like I said, it was a tough one. It was not an easy workout. But we got it done. Hit our splits. After I finish these cool down miles, we'll link up the truck and go over exact splits. Budget versus actual. 
workout is complete. One of the things I was thinking about during that run to give perspective of, of progress and what progress might look like. Now the first time I ever ran this loop was with Jeff Cunningham and Natasha in 2020 when we were prepping for the first time I went sub three in the marathon in early 2021. My paces then were about 645 minute per mile because that's what I had to shoot for to go sub three in the marathon. Three plus years later, now the paces that I'm shooting for in the same exact course are between 605 and 615. Three years ago, I never could have imagined running mile splits between 605 and 615, but that's what progress looks like and that's what it feels like. It compounds. And when you main, and I, I hammer this in all the time, but because it, it works, it works. Consistency is so powerful and it compounds and it will produce results. It will produce progress. Three years later, now we are running a faster marathon, faster splits, but the only way we could have got here is with the last three years of work. It's a math equation that will always pay off in your favor. I'll tell you one thing, it is spicy here. Spicier here than it is in Tennessee. Let's see what we're looking at. Warm up. Mile one, 7.45. Mile two, 7.31. Now on this six mile segment, I will admit I went out a little hot. A little hotter than I probably should have. A little hotter than Jeff probably wanted me to. But mile number one, again, we were shooting for 6.15, was 6.01. Mile two, 6.09. Mile three, six flat. Mile four, 558. Mile five, 609. Mile six, 611. So all under pace. And then for the next segment, which was the one mile repeats, that we were shooting for a 605, 553, 556, 557. Solid. And then the cool down miles, uh, mile one was 743, mile two, 808, for a total of 14.12 miles in one hour, 36 minutes, seven seconds, overall 648 minute per mile pace. That was a good workout. I'm happy with that one. The gels came in clutch. You know, formulating those gels, what we were trying to achieve is we wanted to use a whole food source, and originally we, we planned for and tried to use apple puree. But with apple puree, it also pulls in a lot of water content, fiber, and pectin. So we went with an apple juice concentrate because that eliminates some of the water content, which means that we can remove some of the fiber, pectin, which may cause stomach distress during training, may. But the, the main thing is we wanted to bring the, the pack size volume down a little bit. And by using a concentrate instead of all puree, we were able to bring that volume down so that when you're getting a concentrated form of 24 grams of carbohydrates per gel, it's not all this volume that's sloshed around in your stomach. So it tastes great. It's low volume, high concentration of carbs, fast acting fuel source, great for workouts like this. So I, I use two for this workout and uh, they will be super beneficial for the rest of this prep and race day. But that's the workout, solid one, making great progress. We're less than 10 weeks out from CIM, baby. Go one more.